Hey guys, welcome back to the dark mod. This is, I believe, the place of my last quick save, so... First of all, let's snuff that out. And I need to get this bucket back down into the privy we just climbed out of, because it's in the way. Um, I'm gonna try and be more cautious and less, uh... Fuck, that made a lot of noise. And be less, uh... Idiotic this time, I suppose, or incompetent would probably be another word you could use. But we'll see how it goes. Sometimes the patterns of guards and other people in this game is somewhat unpredictable. Shit. Case in point. That is the priest, though. Oh, if we could nail him, that'd be perfect. Come on now, father. Oof, in the ear this time. Right. Let's get rid of him before anybody comes to find out. We'll also need to wash away the blood in a second. <coughs> right, you hang about there for a moment. Padre. Is this the blood stain? I believe it is. Let's wash it away. Okay. Now, first of all we need the uh, key off him for the first room on the right. There we go. Nice. And then if we could manoeuvre him into the bath slightly, it would help. Get in there, you bucky G. Yeah, come on. Um. So. Oh. He is possessed! The power of Christ compels you. I'm gonna have to shoot him again. The water arrow. Oh, it's because I was still holding on to him. That's why I thought he was some sort of demon. Leave this place, zombie ghosts. Quick, get in the bath. Right, there you go. Properly this time. Good man. That's close enough, isn't it? That's fine, okay. Now, get the water arrows and dice at least one of these. Maybe we should do both? I have a feeling we should do both. Nope, that one did not work. Let's try that again. There we go. Now, it's a waiting game. For the next guard to come. I cannot, in the meantime, I can at least open this first door. But we're not going to venture. Or maybe we should. Um, yeah, screw him. We can deal with guard in a moment. As long as I extinguish the lights in here, we'll be fine. This was a mistake I made last time. I don't want to. No shit, I don't want to read that one. Put the light out. Thank you. I think we should also spend the arrow and put this out as well. Oh, here we fucking go. Is he going to come in here? I hope not. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I shall not light these any longer. He's right there, I think. The darkness cannot protect thee from thy eternal fate. Oh fuck, don't come in here, please. No one's here. Certainly not. Oh shit. Oh sir, please no. The master builder shall guide me unto thee. No he shan't. Get fuck! <coughs> Are you kidding me? Go, 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 go! Open the door, open the door, open the door, close the door. Someone else just opened the door right beside us then. That is bollocks. That was so lucky, right. <coughs> no. Maximum occupancy in the bath is... Maximum? Maximum occupancy in the bath is apparently one person. <coughs> so let us throw him on the floor. Shh, you, you noisy bastard. <coughs> Take the key off him. I think it was a candle. I'm gonna save scum at the buggery because that went very well, although it was incredibly lucky. No. We should probably close this door. Oh, someone's coming. 
that's not good. Doors shouldn't be open like this. They'll notice. The AI does notice things like this. Shit. Must have been a breeze that opened that door. Don't come any further. Come on now. You know what? Screw it. We've got the, the priest key and the guard key, so let's ransack these rooms first. And then we'll deal with whoever's beyond that doorway. Um, Alright, you picked up a note there. Is this it? Yeah. To the Most Reverend Father Bernard. Bernard? Like, not Bernard? Bernard. Alright. Um, a few of the acolytes have been casting dice in the back of the nave again. One was even overheard swearing by Fortuna, a pagan goddess. Something must be done. I recommend putting each one in the screws. Three or four turns should remind them of their vows. Your servant, Brother Simon. Alright, so Brother Simon wants to screw the acolytes three or four times. I get it. Okay, what else have we got in here? Maybe we should just cheekily turn our lantern on for a second. That's certainly worth some money. Spur key to the priest room. Oh, hello! That's a switch! Oh my! Right, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, let's... Oh shit. As long as he doesn't go into the washroom, we're fine. Right, what does this say? Inquisitor's letter. Oh, we'd looked at this before, actually, um, when the last guard came into the room and I hadn't doused the lights and then he murdered me because I was hiding behind the bed reading a, a letter. So, yeah, the the people are being, or the, the staff in the church and the builders, etc., are being evil. Paganistic. Heathens! Right, let's pick this up. Uh, Father Bernard's journal. October 4th. The Lord Builder hath granted us a great boon. Today the widow Madeline did bring to me a gift she brought from a merchant she bought, excuse me, who did just return from a pilgrimage to Torino. That's a real place, isn't it? Uh, the merchant claimed that the trinket was a shard from the handle of the true hammer, just as merchants sell to the pious but gullible souls in a dozen marketplaces in the city. The widow, bless her soul, did have a shine in her eye I have not seen since her husband had perished from the bloody flux. That's a real disease too. That's dysentery. I think in in medieval sources, early modern sources, that's definitely dysentery. Um, so I had not the heart to tell her, but accepted her gift without comment and placed it next to the statue of St. Lucia in the front chamber. As I did pray quietly there, feeling the weight of all that had happened and asking the Lord for a sign to reaffirm my faith, the statue did most suddenly begin to weep. I could not believe mine eyes. "'Twas as if the Lord Builder was speaking directly to me through his servant, St. Lucia. October 21st. The weeping of St. Lucia is the miracle I have sought. God had responded to my prayers in a way that I did not dare to hope, solving my crisis of faith and the poverty of my parish at once. For donations from wealthy visitors who would never set foot in this church but for the statue swells our coffers as it hath not been in a generation. With the new donations we can begin construction of new works to honour the Master Builder. First repairs upon his house and those of his people, then new walls and gutters to keep the streets free of refuse. My heart soars to think of it. October 24th. His Eminence the Archbishop is coming here to witness the miracle for himself and thus pronounce it so. With all the trials and plagues that the city has gone through these last years, such a thing could renew the faith and vigour of all our people. Okay. So he obviously has an incredibly vested interest in it then. But it's in, I mean, he obviously believes it too, this... Actually, I believe his father, Bernard, we just uh, shot in the ear there a minute ago, so... Yeah, well, he... Be, the past tense is probably correct. He believed it was true. No, let's not do that. Let's get into the... Oh, is it lockpicking time? It might be. Okay. First I'm going to have a drink of rum and then we're going to deal with this bad boy. Okay, let's have you. Nope. Oh, I need a key, do you? Where the hell am I going to get a key for that? Really? Oh, wow. Oh, never mind. It wasn't actually on it. Right, here we go. Maybe we can lockpick it. Yeah, we can, right, triangle lockpick, here we go. Yep, nice. Shit. Oh, bollocks.
Oh, here we go. That was stupid. Nice. Okay. Lockpicking, by the way, I should probably explain. Lockpicking in this game is all done through sound and, and silences in between clicks, so... Shit. Oh, well, that was stupid. Yeah. No. Too late. Nice. Oh, hello. Come to daddy. What have we got? 75 and jewels, health potion, lovely. What's this? <gasps> I've got a relic! Oh, nice! Wow, that was worth a lot of money. Holy hell. So we've got everything, we've got a lot now. Let's quick save here, this seems like a good idea. Okay. Now all we have to do is... Uh, uh, damage the statue if not destroy it entirely and uh, steal steal a good bit more loot in other words um, in other words sorry oh sh oh bollocks well this is where I die please sir no okay never mind he's oh fuck he's right here I mean I can hear him but I don't oh, shut up you it's too loud okay let's go in here before we deal with this guy Guard's bedroom. Shit, this is bright in here. That's gonna be another water arrow we're gonna have to use. Okay. Down you go. Lots of valuables in here too. What's this? The Heavenly Realm. This doesn't seem to be central to the plot of the mission, so if you'd like to read that, I'll leave that up on screen for a second. You can have a look. So much uh, background information in this game is amazing. And I think that is mainly a good thing. I mean, if you want to read none of it, you can read none of it. But if you want to sit and read all of it, you can. Uh, we'll get rid of this priest's cap because it's hiding a wonderful gold necklace. Oh, shit. Let's put the bow away so a bit less easy to spot in case he does come in here. All right. Uh, we'll car behind here and have a wee look at this. Uh, what was that? Guards Journal? It should thus come as no surprise that many of the acolytes that have been assigned here are uneducated, crass, and poorly motivated. They spit, they speak in the vulgar tongue, and they gamble when Reverend Bernard doth sleep. Most indeed do love the Master Builder most sincerely, but they need a great deal of direction in serving him. September 25th. Reverend Bernard doth keep the relic in his private chambers. Yeah, well, we've been there and done that. Uh, I did so offer to protect it myself, but the Reverend doth insist that it is well hidden. Yes, it was. Uh, September 27th. Must attend Brother Matthew, who doth oversee the maintenance work. He reports an outside worker did injure himself while manhandling a hammer from the wall for cleansing, and his partner can't not push it along on his own. These unbelievers are most feeble. When I was but an acolyte, I did such work without serious complaint. Those big hammers are weighty, yes, but a good sustained push and much faith in his goodness is all it takes. To do his will. Fair enough, that's why you've got a fucking massive sledgehammer next to your bed, isn't it? I wouldn't like to get on the wrong end of that, to be honest. Right. While we're at it, let's see if we can steal whatever's in here. Too late. There we go. Is this a breastplate? Uh, which we can't. So we can take the goblet. Is there anything underneath it though? No, it doesn't seem to be. Alright, that'll have to do this for in here. Again, with the saves coming, let's move on. No. Well, this is where things get very complicated. Very complicated. I can't even hear footsteps at the minute. And I'm vulnerable here, I'm in the light. Let's see, um... Do I have a map? I did oh, I didn't buy a map! Shit, I bought the map the first time, I came back here, quick save to do this video, and I didn't buy a map. 
from the la I remember looking at the map the last time. The crypt is down here, and I think this way is the kitchen. But this is just purely from memory, so we'll see. Okay, this is the kitchen. And we're going to need to be very patient here because there are guards patrolling around for definite. In fact, here comes one now. He may take some time to get here or he may turn up straight away, but I have to be patient no matter what I do. Let's get the blackjack ready. Fairly sure he's coming right now. Yes, he is. Hello, sir. He's going to be like this goose in a minute. Cooked. If I get this right. Shh. Hmm. Ah. Shut up. No hmms for you. Come here. Maybe I should... Actually, you know what? Fuck this. Maybe I should take him all the way back around. If I can. can I, I can't run with the body. I'll have to slink. Come on. Let's go. Everybody's going to wake up in the washroom in some sort of... Orgy of guards. Hey, steady now, come on. Shh, it's alright, lads. <laughs> I'm building a collection. Okay. Let's get the lantern back off. Feeling slightly more confident now about poking around a little bit. I'm sure there's still more guards on this level, though. There has to be. Now do we have... I don't think we have much valuable at all here. We'll nick this arrow. Uh, and I believe that might be it. Yeah, a lot of plates, cookery stuff, utensils. A recipe. <laughs> no thanks. A book I don't need, a bit of bread. Yeah, alright, we're done here. Let's move on, shall we? To the scriptorium and the other parts of the church.